hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is about propagation so this plant here in front of me it is a syngonium it is syngonium macrophyllum frosted heart this leaf here that you can see it's an older leaf it's now just green and this is the propagation that came from there you can see how the young leaf it's quite frosty so um, what happened here is when the new leaves appear it will be like frosty like this and then it would fade as it grows older so this is the first propagation that I just cut I already cut that that from that here and there is there's three propagation here that I could make so I'm gonna cut here and here and then the top cutting and also I have another one here that I just cut also here so this one here it has two nodes that has good aerial roots but I'm just gonna leave this as is because it's quite it's quite soft it's quite young so this one here is from from just down here and also this plant here there's another plant called Syngonium chiapensi they are very similar so you don't get confused and I can show you the other plant which is just right here this is the Syngonium chiapensi it's got a beautiful leathery feel to the leaves they do have the same texture and here is the um, new, this is the new leaves of the Syngonium chiapensi it's quite pretty I like that dark green leathery feel to it again they do have the same texture it's just they just have the different um, shape of the leaves I'll show you the difference so this is the macrophyllum and this is the chiapensi so you can see how this one here is more rounded and this one here is more elongated heart leaf shape and also this plant here there's another version of this it is the regular syngonium macrophyllum and it's already a mature plant the shape of the leaves has changed you can see here and as they mature it grows these earlobes so I'll show you a smaller leaf so you can see see how that is so this is the mature syngonium macrophyllum this is the one with the purple leaf so uh, sorry purple stem I will show you the purple stem that they are saying so this is just the stick to help it stand up so this is the the sign it's quite purple so it's quite reddish dark ish but it's not purple to me but you can judge it so this is the mature syngonium macrophyllum just the regular macrophyllum and back to the syngonium macrophyllum frosted heart so here it is so I'm just gonna propagate it and if you wanted to see the other syngonium as well I'm gonna show you again so if you decided to buy it from any shops you know what to look for so they are very very similar so you can see this is the syngonium, syngonium chiapensi and this is the syngonium macrophyllum syngonium macrophyllum syngonium chiapensi and this is the propagation guys so I'm gonna cut this into three and then just pop it into the water I'm just gonna do a water propagation so I've got my water here Just put that here because that's the one we are propagating so I've got my water here guys and I also use this it's called HB 101 I I'm using this one to just enhance the new growth and the healthy roots you can use this for your fruit and vegetables so I've got this water it's supposed to be one drop to a liter but I'm just gonna put a drop on this okay and I'm just gonna mix it with my finger so just do that and I already have this cutting here and that's already drying so I can just pop it in here 
can just pop that in here just like that and I am going to cut the other cutting so I'm just gonna cut this into three Put my cutting my cutters here so I'm just I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pop this thing here so that's one this is the second one just I just don't want to cut the aerial roots because that's very brittle okay. So now I have the three cuttings. Yep, I just said I don't want to cut the aerial roots and I did it. See how brittle it is. So take that one off. I still have the three roots in here. So I have these guys. I have these three cuttings from that one and I have this one here. So I'm just going to wait a little bit to put all this into the water so those are dry and they will prevent root rot. So guys, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes and these cuttings has now you can see it's brown so they all dry now the end so I can just put them into the water now so I've got four cuttings here and hopefully one or two of them will be successful or I want all of them to grow successfully because I want to put them in one pot and have a bushy Syngonium macrophyllum. Thank you guys for watching and I will be updating you on the progress of this propagation in about three weeks or maybe in the beginning of new year.